It's cold today. Colder than it usually is this time of year. You can see people on the streets wearing thicker jackets to armor themselves against the wind. I've been doing this job for almost a year now. This is what I was programmed for. My designation is Syntec Linguistic and Logistics Model 309. But you may call me Peace. I was created for Android human relations. And although it's difficult to compare what you would call feelings with what I have programmed. I had a knack for what I was doing. I was a negotiator. Everything from hostages to, well, other things. This was my third call for a suicide. And I was tasked to talk them down. So, partner, what's the situation? Well, nearest I can tell is we've got this, we've got this person up on the roof, and I, peace, listen, this, this, this guy He's got to be on something. He came up here in a hurry. A few people got injured on the way up. He injured them? They were in the way. Is he armed, sir? No reports of any weapons. But I think he's on something. I will take that into consideration. You can do this, partner. Thank you, sir. I shall endeavor to make you proud. I'll be here. I'll be right here. I'll be right near the door. If I have any complications, I will be sure to contact you on the radio. Is anyone in need of medical assistance or have they been evacuated already? I've already called uh, I've already called a bus. They're on the way. Very well. He's He's listening. <laughs> we don't know what what this drug is. But he's strong. Just look out for yourself. I will. And I walked inside. I had to take the stairs because the elevator in this 
dilapidated apartment building was out of order, as they often are in this part of the city. So, I double-timed it up the stairs. I heard commotion on my way up. Not a not the din of a crowd, but definitely people talking, exclaiming, some moans of pain. Probably those of his victims on his ascent to the roof. Sir, medical assistance is on the way. Please do not try to move. Okay. They will come up and get you. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's crazy. Oh. He barely touched me. He threw me into the wall. Sergeant Truman. Sergeant Truman, I have one up on nine. And injured, complaining about his leg. Understood, Zeke. <clears throat> Bus is on the way. You read me? Bus is on the way. Yes, sir. And then... I got the door covered. He's not going to come back down this way. The sounds faded away as I approached the top. I got to the door at the top of the stairs. And when I opened it, I saw a man standing at the edge of the building. He was obviously not in his right mind, rattled by whatever drug that he had consumed that day. <clears throat> Shaky, tense. I had to be cautious. This was a delicate situation. Excuse me? You? What do you want? Get away from here! My name is Peace. I don't care I'm what here. your name is, just get just get out of here! What is your name? Don't don't come any closer, I'll jump! No one's moving. I'm staying right here by the door. I didn't mean to hurt them! They just got in my way! I understand completely. We Nobody often understands! Things that we don't mean. Please. Tell me... your story. How did you get up here?
They're all dead. Is that why you're standing on the ledge? Might as well be. <laughs> I can see why your current situation and the situation of the world could be very depressing. <laughs> but... To end it... is... I think maybe... You have more work to do here, on this planet. I don't have any work! I don't have a job! Oh. I don't have anything, don't you understand? Would you mind telling me your name? Barrett. Barrett. Ethan. Ethan Barrett. Ethan? It is nice to meet you. It was at that moment I looked up his police record. Some arrest for assault, drug possession, and no record of employment for the past four and a half years. At that point in the city, it was very difficult for anyone to find gainful employment. And Ethan was no different. How do you give hope to someone who seemingly has no hope left? His marital status was divorced. There was a custody hearing for their two children and he was denied custody due to his police record. This man, seemingly, had no one. Ethan, I'm going to tell you something. Oh. And I hope it doesn't upset you. I looked into your files. I see that you have children. I don't have children anymore, man. They're gone. She took them. She took them from me. Do you remember when they were born, Ethan? What? I want you to think. And remember, when your children were born. What, is, what does that have to do with anything? When you looked at the face of your children, how did you feel? My daughter. She was so small. I thought I was going to crush her. My wife just... She just... She kept saying, you need to hold her. You need to hold her. Hold her neck. Support her.
don't know what to do. I still felt like I was doing it wrong. But I swear she smiled at me when I held her. She grabbed my finger. But it doesn't matter. None of it matters anymore. None of it matters. <laughs> Ethan, Ethan. Gone. I want to ask you I want Gone. to ask you a question. How did you feel? When you looked at your daughter and she grabbed your finger. God, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. matter. Don't you want to be the father she needs? <laughs> I'm, I'm it's not never a father. It's never too late, Ethan. Even now. She's got... She's got a new dad now! But he will never be her father. I That's haven't you. even talked to them. In over a year! Imagine... A point in the future... Where... You have given up the drugs and the violence. Imagine yourself cleaned and thinking clearly and talking to your daughter. Imagine her graduation day. Imagine her graduating from college. And finding her dream job. Imagine all the dinners and lunches and holidays that you'd miss out on. Already missing out. It's all over. I'll never see them again. She told me so. She told me you'll never see them again. You're just a worthless ex-con. You don't deserve to see your kids anymore. Why? Why should I even try? During his story, while he was distracted with remembering, I made my way very slowly towards the edge where he was standing. I made it about half the distance and stopped. I was unsure if he had noticed me, but he had. And he became more agitated and I had to try to control the situation. Stay back, man! I said straight the fuck back! Ethan? Stay back! Come down off the ledge, Ethan. Don't tell me what to do. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody's telling me what to do ever again! It's never too late, Ethan. Take my hand. I'm going to walk towards you. Just stay back! Just stay back! Don't you want to see if you have any grandchildren? Don't you want to see your daughter grown up, become a woman? Don't you want to see her happiness? Don't you think that one of the best days of her life will be when she sees her dad 
sober, clean, <laughs> with love in his heart. What even is sober? I haven't been sober. I can't even remember. <laughs> I can't even remember. It was at that point. He turned to face me. And he fell back. Off of the edge. I am an android. A Syntec Linguistic and Logistics Model 309. I can react faster than a human. And I have special enhancements for my given situation. Being on the police force. I leapt the last half of the distance. And I grabbed Ethan's arm. I was hanging over the edge of the building with this man's life in my hands. Ethan, I'm going to pull you up now. Come with me. I could see in his eyes that he didn't want to die. And that's the point. When his watch band snapped under his weight and he fell. I was left at the edge of the building with only his watch in my hand. appropriate time now, while he is out of commission, for me to attach this eyeball that I've grown for him. I mean, I guess you could. Is this what he looks like every time he's out? This is kind of strange, isn't it? Very curious. Mm. Do you think that he can hear us? Peace? And I poke him on the nose. Peace? Hello? Guess not. Hmm. Where should I put this eyeball? Hmm. How about on under it, like his armpit or something? So it's like a ball pit. Ah. <laughs> That's pretty good, this wasn't is it? Quite, quite good. Yes. Oh. I begin to apply the eyeball to Peace's armpit with an adhesive. Now, I don't have any kind of speciality in merging old tech with some of our tech that we use on Titan, but this will have to do for now. Hmm. Perfect. Well, I mean, should we... I, <laughs> I'm a fan of pranks and what have you, but... Uh... Should we kind of call in Barry or something? Or do you want to just keep gluing stuff to him? You can call Barry. I will continue to apply adhesive. Okay. Um, Barry? Barry! 
Now, what do you, what do you mean, get out? That, no, I, I, what do you, no, I, but I was help. I gave you the span. Fine, fine. I thought we were getting along. God, fine, fine. Oh, oh, God. What? Ah. What? Hi. Um. Yeah. Hi. Uh, you dealt with peace before when he was like <sighs> snoozing, what have you, right? You. You mean when he's powered down? Yeah, yeah. I mean, mine is the snoring, but yeah, I equated to Yeah, he snoring. did that once. It was real creepy. He put a little <sighs> audio recording on and it. Just it snored for a while, and I thought I was getting like attacked or something. It was weird. Oh, did he use chainsaws? Been... He took that too literally. You know, the oh. whole sawed logs thing. And, and I digress. What? What? What's huh? going on? Um. Uh, well, so uh, we've been gluing stuff to his armpits and poking him in the oh, nose. God, what? And... <sighs> Char- He's still not woken up, so it probably. You know, you oh, you didn't wake up so you could just glue things to him. I uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'll be over there in a sec. Okay. All right, he's on his way. Look, he's got a ball pit. Do you see it? Ta-da. <laughs> Is that one of them nutrient bars on his knee? Yes. Why? I heard for peace to absorb it. Perhaps become stronger. Nutrition. You think he, he pulls he, you think he pulls in nutrients via the osmosis? I do that. You do really? Well then why do you shove everything in your mouth? I have additional receptors in my mouth. This is how tongue, I investigate. Yeah, a, t- a tongue? This thing? Rece- never mind. I wonder can if we I not can do glue, that, Don't glue things. Remember, remember, God, how many times do we got to go over the consent? You know? You, you know, when, when, you, when you ask people before you do things to them? Like stabbing? Well, he's sleeping, so we can't ask him. Oh, he's sleeping. Yeah, that's the point. What you ask him when he's You can't awake. ask him, therefore there ain't no consent. Oh. It is removable by a human. Calm down. Good, good God. Yeah, Jesus. Look, just right. spit a little bit on it. I spit on it and I start pulling the uh the ball off. God, great. I'm so glad you got that off him. Can we get that nutrient bar off him too? You wanna spit on that? Oh come on, you give it a try. Yeah, yes, I ain't spit. human, give it a I, try. I ain't spitting on peace. Thanks, though. Why not? Uh, a lot of a lot of reasons. Hmm. A lot of lot of reasons. All right, just I'll wake. Is up. this a human fear? Fear? No. Again, consent. I consent for you to spit on me. Well, yep. I appreciate. <sighs> Syntech Linguistics and Logistics Model 309. Ready for assignment. Oh, God. No, not your factory I'm... sentence piece. Sorry, sir. I still have not figured out a way to get rid of uh, that when I am uh, turned back on again. It's hard-coded, it appears. Yeah. I mean, probably best not to try to unhard code that, admittedly. Yeah, you might disturb um, the peace. <laughs> a joke. Why would that be disturbing? Well, because you know you're uh, messing with the line of balance and then disturbing the peace because his name is peace. Did you have a chance to run my diagnostic, sir? Um, not yet. That's what we're going to do now. Uh, but we need to make sure you're in a closed system because, yeah, that code is dripping. <laughs> with all sorts of nasties peace like real bad that is unsurprising yeah why'd you put that in you bud if you're unsurprised by it I just gotta ask I do not know it seemed like the right course of action at the time and You bring up an interesting point, sir. I apparently did not consider all of my actions 
or all the repercussions of my actions when I did it. I just saw the stick and knew I could read it. May I don't know if I should be flattered that you're acting like me or not. Would you like me to call you daddy? No, I definitely would not like that. Oh, no. did you get those from the videos? He probably did. Oh. I observed quite a few occurrences of this phrase, daddy, mm. in those videos. Yes. I mean, if you need them, you can watch them without being all weird about it. It's fine. But that's not a here nor there. We got to actually we have a, a You're the one who seems to be a little weird about it. No, I, I'm trying. I'm worried about pace. You're, you're, you're getting all de deviated or, or whatever the the digressing. Or, uh, I just asked where you learned it from. Uh, no. Uh, anyway, we got to run diagnostics, please. Uh, we we got to get those going. Um, uh, do well, we, sir, do we if I yeah. may, Ugh. and I, I like, I tap the back of my head and you see like a little like compartment like open up and you see like I, I grab like a com computer like like a uh, modular thing and I hand it over to Barry. This is my antenna, so to speak. So there would be no wireless connection to any other computer system on the ship. All right, good. I'm toss it in a pocket. Very good. All right. Uh, good news. Yeah. Well, maybe not necessarily good news, but I believe I had my first dream. Fascinating. Well, that's. It's very strange. Odd, yeah. Do your dreams often recapture old events in your life, but in a truncated manner? Scenes play out, but the connections between the scenes are absent. Yeah, that's. That's kind of the definition of a dream a lot of the time. I remember the situation the dream put me in, but now that I am awake, it's I remember fading. differently. Getting a little muddled, yeah. Yeah, that's a dream piece. Hmm. Well, hmm. shall we run diagnostics? Where's code? <sighs> so he's still working on that data. Uh, oh. That it, is understandable. Yeah. There's quite a lot of information there. We made a lot of good progress. Uh, we probably were able to copy about 85%, I think is the number he threw out there, of uh, what was on that stick. Uh, and in theory, because he's, the way he copied it, we should have full access to that data without worrying about repercussions. That was the whole point of what he did. <sighs> I that say in good. theory, but it, yeah. So he got that, but he started mumbling a bunch, and then he looked at me and did something like, uh, "Barry, get out of get, get, get out of this room! I, I can't concentrate when you're here." And then he started mumbling more, and then he shoved me. And uh, you know what? We were getting on so great, I didn't want to ruin the moment, so I I made the choice and left. And now I'm here. Are you harmed, sir? No, uh, no, 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 no. You, you, you kidding? He's got them weak little spindly arms that are just used for the, the typings. Fair enough. I walk over to uh, the. I'm guessing there's like a workbench of some sort. There's yeah, a, a, yeah. I mean, there's just a there's like a table and and benches for you to kind of sit down. Yeah, and kind of the okay. engineering area. Barry's got tools and things for repairs and whatnot. Yeah. I uh, take I I, I hand uh bury the uh the connection and uh i tap the like the base of my neck where, where your spine and your neck meet i do another little tap there and it kind of opens a a door and you can see the the wires that i've handed barry would connect there 
and uh, I I hold them out for you, Barry. Yeah, I grab them kind of absentmindedly while I'm looking around at some of the other tools. And all right, uh, so we kind of know what this thing does. It overwrites some code and it adds its own of some kind. I ain't no I ain't no programmer, uh, piece. So. I can get the diagnostics all set up for you, but you're going to probably have to run most of the protocols, right? We haven't well, done this in a minute. The problem with that, sir, is my data might be corrupted. My motives are tied into all of my uh, programming. Right, right, right. So oh, I might sweet. try to hide things from you if I was indeed taken over by the program from the data stick yeah 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 you're right you're right um, do you want me to try definitely not did not mean that to sound so harsh anyway uh all right oh, was it uh, supposed to be harsh there is a way you can help though if you would be so kind as to, since you have commandeered the living space that I used to have for your experiments, there is a set of small filing cabinets or drawers in the corner of the room. In there, I have spare data sticks. What I would suggest, sir, is that instead of downloading any of my diagnostic programming or diagnostic results to the ship's computer, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should put it on a data stick and then examine it uh, objectively. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, could even have code look after it if he ever leaves. And do you wish me to retrieve the stick? Yeah. Yes, uh, you get the that data for me. stick, bring it here. That would be I would appreciate great. that. I can go do this, but let me tell you, if you wish to enter the closet that is full of the sacks, you are more than welcome to. They are no longer volatile. They should be safe to handle if you wish to move among them, but you will find it is a tight squeeze. We have fit five fully mature sacks inside of the closet. But uh, I will be right back. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to go in there. Um, while she is gone, is, I'm going to assume by deductive reasoning that she is, uh, the cause of my moist armpit. Oh yeah. She put an eyeball. She grew there. She tried to implant an eyeball into my armpit. She I was a part of it too. I can't I'm, lie to you. I'm sorry. I'm surprised that you eaten. It was funny. That you would allow her to try and grow an eyeball in my armpit without my consent. I'm sorry. You are forgiven. I was also maybe look at your knee. That one is particularly weird. Yeah, that one I had no part in. The eyeball, I look down on my did. knee. What do I see? It's one of the food bars that has been just like adhered to your knee. It is bubble gum. Go. Can I just bubble, take it it's off? One of those, <laughs> it's one of those nutrient bars is bubble gum flavored. It's obnoxiously pink. Oh, the flavor brick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I do not consume nutrients. So. She was thinking that maybe you ate through your skin like apparently titanites can. I don't even know that. The doctor never told me about that. I wonder if like... Hmm. They okay, that, they now that you got, you got osmosis. some weird... Uh, yeah, apparently. I don't like that face on, on hmm. her. That just kind of scares me. What, do you think you're just going to find me tomorrow slathered in like peanut butter or something? Yeah, now I am. Okay, so I thought about it. Apparently, Barry has as well. Well, just now, because she just brought it up. What the? No, not both. God damn it. Sir, you know I can tell when you're lying, right? 
Yeah, and I'm not lying at this moment. You're blushing oh, a little bit. Of course. It was an interesting thought. I'm not going to deny you that, but I didn't think of it until right now. Oh. Sir, did you see my wink? I winked at you. Yeah, I, no, you don't. Your face is off. Of course I can't see you wink. You ain't got no eyes. But my brow ridge. Okay. One moment, sir. You can kind of see the brows. They, oh, you were Ooh. winking. Oh my God, I had no idea. We need to run these diagnostics. And I just, <laughs> what, there is, what? There is a bucket full of sticks in here. And what? some of them are labeled suspiciously. Sh sh I will just bring the entire bucket. I'll be right there. Uh, yeah. Did you, did you put just a bunch of your personals in, in that bucket? No, sir, but her word for bucket might be our word for drawer. I'm not certain. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I do yeah. not haphazardly place no. pieces of tech into buckets. No, you don't. I had them very well placed and organized in a drawer. Perhaps she just scooped them out and put them in a bucket. That in is which case, possible. I hope none of them are damaged. I return with a literal drawer removed from the wall in my hands. Is it one of these? I could not decipher which one it was that you wanted. No, so I yes, that is it. Thank you very much. And I, I take, I take the drawer from her, and I just, I just like mug to Barry, and then I go back and I put it down on the on the workbench and uh, right. I grab, I just grab the, one of the empty data sticks out and I, I hand it to Barry. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, I plug it into like one of our diagnostics machines and uh, get the cables. All right. <sighs> okay, so I, I kinda know what we are looking for as I was watching code work. Um, you not running the protocols is going to be a little rough, but I will do my best. Um, I think I, did I write those down? Um, I'll be awake for it, sir. I'll help you. Well, yeah, but the whole, you potentially lying or hiding things that, that one step by step. I just need to remember that. Indeed. Uh, I think this would be a great time for a little mini flashback of me. I, we don't even have to act now. Me writing down all of the steps of <laughs> the diagnostics in one of the flashbacks. And then it's instantly back. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I don't know, do we need to just... <laughs> awesome, okay. Uh, cool. Uh, any stress for that? Uh, you wrote down what now? The, the diagnostics protocols, basically step-by-step -step order. Uh, one stress. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, just, and I start rummaging through like a pile of papers and things on uh, the table. Cause of course I don't entirely use data. I also will occasionally use paper because it feels more luxurious. As you're looking around, I reach over and I help assist in organizing things into piles. Every time I touch something, it's no, a little no, stop, slimy. Just, don't, don't touch that. No, no, God, no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. No. Was the clapping really necessary? I think it was. She stopped. No. I take the, the flavor brick off of my knee. And I hand it back to uh, to uh, Vertigo. I do not require sustenance, and therefore, this brick is useless to me. And also, if I'm ever powered off again, can I make a request that you not yes. try to implant eyeballs anywhere on me while I am shut down? Yes, I can do this. Thank you very much. Okay, I found it. Um, yeah, it's, it's... 
Yeah, there, there it is. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, I got the I got the procedure here. Um, step by step. Okay. You won't have. You can walk me through. Actually, you do walk me through, because then I'll know if you leave, leave leave something out, and that actually might give us an idea of what and where the problem is. All right. Uh, here, I'm gonna. You ready? I'm gonna plug you in, and uh, we'll just go through the procedure, can, eh? Sir. Yeah. Would you mind warming the plug up? Last time it was quite cold. You don't feel heat, peace. Don't make it weird. They don't get that. That joke's only for me. Oh, we've seen plenty of videos about mm -hmm. warming things up and plugging things in. I'm ready, sir. I feel like you watch them more than I do. <sighs> well, I mean, it's what? scientific research. I've yeah, taken extensive notes. Yeah, Plug me in, have. sir. Yeah, yeah, I'm plugging you in now. All right. And then I pop in the cables. Are they All right. Bracing. No, it's already, ah, Jesus. Are you ready for diagnostics? Peace. Yes, sir. All right. Why don't you run me through it? Please and thank you. And I'll, uh, I'll, do what I need to based on your orders, or if you leave something out, I'll notate it. First, you want to disable all protections. Yep, yep, okay. In the CPU. Yep. Then, all right. And I done. I don't, do you want me to like go through every step or like, cause it, it's a lot of techno babble that I'll have to make up on the spot. <laughs> Effectively, at least. I just picture a fade out, like step one, disable all protections. Step two, fade out. Yeah. Sure. Um, we can, we can sort of skip through that. Um, you do a diagnostic on peace and let's have you make a roll for it, please, Barry. Yeah. Oh, goody. Yep. Goody, goody. Now, I'm assuming that Peace is helping you with this, right? You assume correctly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and take a stress there, Peace? I'll take... Is it only one or two to... I think I thought one it was two. One for helping. Oh, one for help, two for pushing. Two for pushing right. yourself. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. That's better, at yep. least. And, uh, hmm. I think this is probably... Uh, let me just a double check. Roll, right? Well, I know you want to be a rig roll. Because we're working with hardware. This is hardware, right? Would you like me to help something right? <laughs> um, access a data console. Mm, rig disable trap repair. No, I don't think it is. I think it is a hack roll. I th it probably is a hack. I mean, it would make the most sense to me yep. as much as I hate that. Yep. Um, Rig is mechanical okay. and hack is is yep. uh, electronic uh, and digital. So first uh, position effect. Um, so you're getting help from peace. So you have one bonus die. Um, yep. Are you helping as well, Vertigo? You're chiming in there. It depends on whether or not my sticky fingers were able to assist in rearranging a few items i'm going to leave that up to you now. yeah that's up to you perhaps you could be holding the wire steady things like that oh, i am a very hands-on doctor yes i will assist you okay. by leaning way too close and i smell <laughs> i smell like a cat now how is this helping I was just giving Barry an extra <laughs> dice. My inspiring presence. <laughs> <laughs> so not only a doctor, but I, a paladin. I lean up against Barry and through osmosis, I'm slowly consuming him, but also adding <laughs> intelligence. Wait, wait. I don't know. <laughs> so it's basically the Titanite, Titanite equivalent of licking him. 
Yeah, I don't. Just, like, I don't know. If, rubbing I don't, your skin on him. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any help here. Sorry, Vertigo. <laughs> I was uh, trying to let you justify it, but it doesn't seem like that, it. No. You know what uh, might work though? If you if you stood beside him and purred like the cat. <laughs> or I could just get the actual cat on the ship I mean, to purr for me. I'm very very <laughs> nice. Can the cat push itself? Okay, Can the cat so insist? one bonus die for battery yeah, stress. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, uh, and your position is uh, controlled, and your okay. effect is limited. Great. Uh, now, before the there should be other bonus die specifically for the flashback. Uh, that is correct. You get a bonus for that as well. Yes. And then. Maybe, and I hinted at it, we'll see. I was watching code and working with code and aiding code to see where bad uh, uh, lines were, or like bad protocols were. Would that mm -hmm. be another bonus die from doing that? Not in this case, no. Okay, fair enough. All right, two bonus die. That means I can roll two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Yay. Partial. Yeah, that's a partial success. I'll, say, okay. I'll take a partial in a controlled setting. Yeah, I will yeah. do that. <laughs> that um, sounds fine to me. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> uh, I, so I think what happens here is it just probably takes you a little longer than you were expecting to do the diagnostic. There's that like awkward moment. You know, it's like, it's kind of like if you've ever had, and this is such a nerd related, <laughs> the nerd centric. Uh -oh. A nerd centric example, but uh, if you've ever had a normie over and you try to explain them something, you explain to them something cool on your computer, and oh. they're just like, uh huh. You just change like the Windows style yeah. to like blend into your backdrop or something. It's just and something it's just, weird. Like there's that, just yeah. like an awkward like five minutes while you try and do the thing that you were trying to show them. Um, and <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It worked happened. last time. No, no, no. Just give it a sec. It, it was really cool when I did it last time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it's awesome. A question which might be a whack question or a piece or both. Were any of the protocol steps that you gave me wrong? I don't think so. So he ran through the correct diagnostic without uh, without hiding anything. Yep. Okay. Now, as far as the results of the diagnostic. Yeah. You can see that um, his systems are in fact damaged yeah um peace i don't know what? how this is categorized for you mm -hmm. for you and how barry would interpret this um but there is something wrong with your like situational analysis um section of your uh, of your perceptions. So I think maybe some kind of protocol that you have enabled to analyze situations and your reactions to situations. Okay. So I'm guessing Barry like lays out like in just plain like numbers and, and code lines and stuff like that. The yeah. things that are damaged. Like point this, this yeah. line right here. It's and I, I look at it. It's kind of fucked. Is that? Hmm. That says something about that site. No, no, that's. It's my situal situational awareness function, sir. It is my ability to. Let's just decide read a situation in the and, yeah. and decide. Huh. And I think that. The closest thing that I could relate it to humans would be I've been infected with doubt. Uh, well, that's not great at all, actually. It uh, needn't be detrimental, but it is distressing. Uh, yeah. It left that sort of stain on me. Uh, are you able to purge that code, you think? Or repair it? Or is that going to need to be something that good old code does for you? I know I can't. It's something that I would be willing to try, but... <laughs> I, 
I'm not sure if I want to. What? Hmm. You... Quite the conundrum, yes, sir? Yeah, very much so. Uh, listen, it, doubt's a fine emotion to have in reason. If it's making you doubt literally everything, then it's not, that's no longer in reason. Like, if, you, if you're put in a bad situation and you can't make a good judgment call regularly, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not going to be good for you. It doesn't appear that way, sir, but no, we'll know more if once code dives into it, but as it is now, it, I do not feel any different. Yeah, that still worries me. That maybe worries me a little more than, than not. I understand, sir. Especially if you're feeling or looking doubtful or whatever, but everything but that is wrong, then that's... You see what I'm... Like, if you're, if you're doubting everything except the one thing that lets you doubt everything, that that might be the source of the issue. And it's try to get its own defense mechanism for you not to remove that problem. And around and around we go, sir. Exactly. Right. It's... Coincidental that the dream that I had coincides with the damaged code that I have. Oh. We haven't discussed it much, sir, but... No. You didn't really like The you. incident that caused me to be released from the police force. Yeah. That was the dream I had. And if I had regrets... That would be my biggest one. Huh. And you wow. see Peace, like, casually glance down to the, to the watch that he is always wearing. And it's always been a weird thing, like, to see Peace with a watch, but he always has it. Peace. Well, I look back at the diagnostics we ran. Is this code spreadable? Like an actual virus? Like if you if you hook into anything, you're gonna start spreading it around? No, sir. Really? I mean, not in the technical sense. I couldn't spread it to another computer, but. Yeah, that's more what I'm. My mean, doubts yeah. could spread to other living beings. Well, just yeah, that's by being around them. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a weird limb here. Did that? Did that? Did that code build into you another ability of emotion? Well. You say another as if I had one to begin with. Yeah, you did. I have approximations. Don't yourself. Yeah, it's close enough. But you know Thank what I'm... sir. You, you, you know what I mean by that, right? Like, that ain't no approximation. Do. Doubt shouldn't be a thing for an android. Well, even this is an approximation, sir. I use the term doubt, but what it actually is, is a flaw in my probability uh, excuse me a flaw in my probability calculations right but that is technically what doubt is exactly you assess the situation the probable outcomes and if you assess the situation negatively then you will not do it but Sometimes it's an inflated probability, and I believe that's what's happening to me. Yeah, we, uh... Some people might even call what you are calling doubt, intuition. Um, uh, some, some might. Yeah, where you're, you're feeling that there could be something else that could be happening instead of just whatever you calculated or expected. Yeah. 
That... I just don't want to run the risk of hesitating when action is required. Well, that's the thing about being human. You can still doubt and not uh, hesitate. You just gotta be quick. I am very quick. Yeah, you are. All right, well, we've removed the risk of it uh, spreading, and that was the biggest thing. Ah, uh, if you don't want us to mess with that at the moment, we don't have to, please. You, you, you are your own person. I just, you know, worry about random changes in, you know, y your you, so to speak. Well, the good thing about being an android, sir, is the problem is static. If it's not a virus that spreads, it will remain there until it is changed or fixed or whatever. Yeah. So we can always revisit it later if it becomes a problem. Yeah. Yep, that's true. All right. Uh, well, then here, um, I start, like, I take the diagnostics data stick that we have and I stow it um, at the workbench in a drawer. Uh, it's there so we don't miss... And I take it out and actually just label it real quick. Diagnostics with the date. Um, and then set it in there. Get you all unplugged. Uh, here. I'm here, relieved here. that uh, I will... I, I do not run the risk of infecting anything on the ship or any other electronic things that I've come in contact with. I, I'm relieved too. Here. And I hand you your wireless. Uh, oh, modular yes. Modular part. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm glad that you ain't uh, an immediate harm, Pace. I think we're receiving a communication, sir. Oh shit! All right, I'll run back. I think I'm... that was. I think that was the beep that I heard. <laughs> it was just the beep from placing your. Oh, your oh okay. Backup. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought that that was a, I thought that was a communication beep. My bad. Barry's looking around, like, for it, and then he <laughs> looks back at you. Oh, no, I was just you. No, it's... I don't Sorry, know why sir. you programmed that, that beep to be very similar to our communications beep <clears throat> piece. It we gotta a, get it you. A silly mistake, sir. Yeah. I apologize. I, it's... Uh, I'm still waking up. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, well... We got some information. Uh, we, we, oh boy. Yeah, we, we figured out uh, a few things. Code and I, uh, and I mean, he knows that he's working on that last little bit. So if I remember right, I can just tell you and he can correct me when, uh, cause he's got it up. But I, I think that stick that did that to you was made by Echo. No. Oh, really? Was it? Fuck, Sorry? I need to... This is why I don't write... This is why I write things down on paper. You made... You got... You got angry at me. What? Well, not angry. You... You called me out on it one time, and I told... I, I, I'm a kinetic learner. I gotta write and do things to learn, peace. <sighs> yes, sir. I'm aware. I've tried to teach yeah. you many things by talking you through them, and nothing seems to stick until you do them yourself. <sighs> and this piece of paper says slice on it. What the? Slice. All right, so maybe I can't read my own handwriting sometimes, but it still helps me remember things. Wait a minute. <sighs> what data stick is the property of slice, the, the android that you had a bounty with? My friend. Wait, who's slice again? Oh, the, oh. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh, wait, so that means Slash is like directly related to Haven then? It would seem so. Have you heard anything of this nature? I'm looking at uh, Eden. Uh, I, I mean, I don't really try to get too much into their personal life. Um, Whack, I'm assuming that Eden would have heard nothing, right? Um, I 
do you think that you would know anything about Slice's past? Has Slice ever talked to you about it? Hmm. I don't think so. I think they're very private. Um, so even though like Eden and they had a, a very active relationship, I think they just kind of listened more than anything. Okay. Hmm. No. I mean, I don't know um, Code's exact relationship with them, but... Why, why would that be theirs? Now, Peace, you did have a conversation with Slice. I did, indeed. Slice gave you a little bit of backstory about what they used to be what they used to do but not a lot what it sounds like and from what you're able to read off of Eden via your ability to distinguish truth from lies you know she's not lying mm -hmm. so it appears you have some info about Slice and Eden doesn't even though Eden knows Slice a little bit I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? It said even though Eden knows Slice and has mm -hmm. a past with them, mm -hmm. you have a little bit of information about Slice. Specifically, uh, Slice's illegal activities that took place in their old life. I'm looking through my notes. I'm trying to figure out, like, did I... I, I don't... I. I didn't write it down. I should have wrote it down. Slice didn't what go was... into too many details, but... Right. But he gave me a hint as to... What was that? What was the hint? That uh, many... There are many old androids that, if they are still functioning, were involved with many illegal activities, uh, sort of against their better judgment, at the behest of their masters some would call them right and slice indicated that they were a part of some of those things I well I remember the 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 whole um you know having androids in in positions of power and stuff like that um and you know having had the flashes of the of the um a data stick to go on that would mean slice is involved and or directly responsible for several crimes including murder um due to his uh involvement with haven uh, i'm not sure how high up he is on that but uh i think like i want to go like peace would love to go and and have a, a a conversation with Slice, but I know that the more pressing issue is figuring out what happened to uh, Barry's sister. So, while this is a very intriguing piece of news. I think that the more pressing issue is to find Barry's sister, if only to make sure that she is uh, safe. But I will bring that up at a later date. All right, I have a, I have a sinking suspicion this is somehow related, but we'll find out. Unfortunately or fortunately. It surprises me how often we see things as coincidence that are actually not so. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So where huh. are we on that front? Ah. Uh, that. I'm not wholly sure. We did find there were more cameras, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, you saw more cameras, Eden. Mm -hmm. And we need code to break into those, but we were wanting to deal with your potential issues first, Peace. That seemed more pressing at the time, because it was. Well, what if it makes sense that we are investigating this murder that took place, and it took place in a dwelling that had evidence of whatever is going on with you, Peace. If the next cookie crumb, as they say, leads us to Peace, uh, Slice, perhaps Slice will have more answers. Maybe. The strange symbol we saw. Maybe Slice well. might have answers. So, just real quick. Um, I just, like, I need to, for my own sanity, I need to know where did we leave off the the sister situation? You spoke with Dakota Bob, and Dakota Bob was basically putting some feelers out. It takes time to mm. communicate with people yeah, across the solar system a lot of times. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is in the works then. Yeah, he, right, basically no asked, he basically asked for a favor to do this, and he was, regardless of, okay. yeah, regardless of what happened, with this situation, if you did it or not, he was going to help with this, with Barry's sister. But Got it. he he just asked if he could do this because it was one of his friends, and you know if you were, then he suggested he might be able to get you into the red spot. Right. Yep. So, I think that our next course of action should be to contact Dakota Bob, and let him know that what we have stepped in is far more than he uh, <sighs> described yeah. when he... telling us about this job. He may not have known. Mm. He may not know to this degree, I should say. He's, uh, as much as I hate to admit it, Dakota Bob is actually reliable. He's an asshole at times. He will exploit the hell out of you most of the time, and he's in it for a buck. But if he says something, he does mean it. He hasn't he hasn't gone back on his word once. Uh, you don't get a reputation like his with, with going back on your word. So I don't know if he would have actually given this job if he... He wouldn't have given this job and not told us that. I'm pretty confident in if he didn't know it. Or if he did know it. Any, anyway, yeah, I can communicate with him. He might have more info after that. Or be willing to give us more info after we've informed him of what we've found out. Agreed. I can do that. I can I can get him a call up. Thankfully, we are in network. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll go to comms and I'll I'll do that, and uh, then maybe we can see how how codes are doing and. Maybe he found something more, or maybe he just settled the hell down and is able to actually do something with us. And we can uh, have him, you know, maybe look into more of the camera angles so that we can figure out more things, maybe hear more words, and then, you know, actually have a lead. Yeah. All right. I'll go, I'll go talk to Dakota Bob, see if he has anything. I suppose one of us should go check on Edra. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to my quarters if that's okay. Uh, peace. There's something that I wanted to say to you before I go check on code. Um, yes, please. Are you sure that finding doubt or the capacity of doubt is necessarily a bad thing? Well, 
it's not necessarily a bad thing. It is not my original programming. It is an error, but well. sometimes errors work out in your favor. And I'm willing to find out if this hinders any future uh, decisions that I make. And I need your help to uh, find that out with me. As I begin to make my way out of the bridge, I gently put my hand on your shoulder and I say, the thing about doubt is, regardless of whether or not you see it, it is always there, and it has always existed. It is what you choose to do with the doubt that matters. You might see it now, but it was always there. I shall keep that in mind. I will go check on Edra now. Okay, goodbye. And that's a good place for us to take our break. We're going to take cool. a little bit of a break here, folks. <laughs> if you have not done so, please make sure you're following all these wonderful people. You can head on over to tablestory.tv slash 100 club to go follow them in all the places. No spaces in that, uh, in that address. Go check it out. Um, we're going to take a little bit of a break. We'll be back in just a few minutes if you have not done so. Um, if you have yourself a prime... Uh, uh, Prime Gaming sub that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it there away. Get yourself some emotes for these lovely people. Um, even if you don't have one, consider throwing a sub their way. Go support them. They're wonderful. Um, and we'll uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Make sure you're following Table Story. Table Story on uh, Twitch, on YouTube, and at a Table Story on Twitter. Uh, Tablestory.tv slash Discord. Come hang out on our Discord. It's a pretty active Discord with uh, people that are like-minded tabletop role-playing game people that are looking for groups they're talking about the shows and things that we uh, that we put out go check it out you might even hear some news here and there from some of these shows that we have coming up so make sure you check that stuff out and we'll be back in just a few minutes hang tight for more 100 club back in just a little bit uh, Petra? Let's compile this guy. You must take us compile. Everything is not lining up. The calculations are absolutely wrong, and I just don't understand what's going on. It's a... uh, oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um. So, how's the follicles? They are very good. How are you? Uh, and I would say this entire night. Uh, are we alone? We should be. I step into the room and close the door behind me. What is going on with you? Your calculations don't line up correctly. Come here. Oh. I step closer. What is it that you are trying to calculate? And I just signal, signal Laura to touch the back of my neck and use the way. Very slowly, I lift up my hand, I wipe it on my shirt, and I touch the back of your neck. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Unfortunately, 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 the data here the data says that I said I didn't, didn't do it. it. And I don't want to tell them. Hmm. We need to get Eden in here, here and here, out some gas. Also, 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 there's more disturbing data on this disk. Disc. I believe there's information about us as well. 
our people. Our people. Our people. Hmm. I gently remove my hand. <laughs> I will be right back, Edra. Oh. Um, okay. But first, can you... Never mind, I'll, should I call Eden in now, or are you going... I will go fetch her. Thank you. I don't know what to do. Stay they, right here. They didn't have to be wrong. Altered text, codes or files. Something's not right. Loopholes, confusion, bigger problem. Maybe someone is trying to cover something up. Ten lives. Yes. Maybe if I alter files, designate the ones that are not true from the ones that have to do with the mission. But I'm I not quietly being able to prove. slip out and I go find Eden. We switch to Eden. Hey. Hi. Are you feeling all right? I'm okay. It's just, um... Uh, I don't know, it's... I guess we'll just have to find out more. <laughs> right? I move to sit next to you on the bed. Tell me what's on your mind. Well, uh, it's a couple of things, right? So... One, um... There's this group that we're supposed to be careful of, right? Um... But... My friend's name was mentioned? Um... I knew that they're not exactly the most, uh, savory of, uh, of people, so to speak, but I don't know, it's, it's strange, um, and something bad happened to Peace, and now uh, Slice is uh, related to that, and, but also there's stuff that I don't know about Slice, and I, I knew that I didn't know things, but this is kind of a big deal, right? So... Oh. It is a very big deal, but you also do not have all of the information. It yeah, would but... be Ill illogical to draw assumptions now. Right, but all I have in front of me right now is that my friend kept these things from me and that uh, they're partly responsible for my other friend getting hurt. In some variation, you know, he's he's not physically hurt, but there's something wrong, so... I don't mm. know. Well, in my experience, we are all very complicated and complex individuals. There are many layers to us and nuances that might not make a lot of sense without the right context. Yeah. I... I will confess that I've done some things that might be strange to others, but they made perfect sense to me. Right. I don't know, I, I guess I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt until... Until we find out what the, the deal is, I suppose. Um, it was Cody so who found out, right? Yes, so it is more information that you seek, correct? Yeah. Well, I hold out my hand. I can take you to Edra, who might have more information. Okay. And I uncurl my knees and kind of sit up properly, because I was kind of hugging them a little bit. And I grab her hand. All right. Take, take it very go. gently. Of course. Come with me. Let us go okay. see what we can find. Alright. Bring... And I... 
You're bringing uh, Eden back to code, yes? Yes. Okay. You make your way to the bridge. Petra? Charles. Does it make sense? How do they know this about? Information is fragmented. Could be given the wrong idea. Thoughts, process, moves. I guide us into the room and close the door behind us. Uh, uh, Android, Titanite. Edra. Yes, uh, why? I brought uh, Eden. Hi. Are you okay? Kind of like really slouched over that thing. Um. Hmm. He's not okay. Um, and I, uh, offer my hand. And they reach out and uh, before. No, 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 no don't. Mm -hmm. Um, neck. Use the neck. You. Touch me. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm really hesitant to touch him because of last time. Um, but I do. I stand close to Eden and give a reassuring tap on her elbow. <sighs> Are you trying to also join in this link? Alora, please. Yes. I need the connection to be consistent. Do you all think that when there's more people that join the link that it is more stable? Mm. I think so. I think it can go either way. However, since um, Alora is more of a stable person, Overall, I think that, well, like, you know, like, <laughs> she can handle stuff. She can keep things, uh, uh, she's not going to get emotional and freak out. Yeah, it's um, a tug of war. So. Yeah. Edra yeah. and I are bonded, so we have connected mm -hmm. in the way very many times. Oh, oh, oh. So we are very familiar. Okay. No, it could probably be overwhelming for Eden since she's not full tight night. Hence why I ask for a third link. All right. Make the connection. Uh, uh, trying not to be so hard. So hard. You didn't want to about to tell you this. Disturbing. Slices connect. Slices connect. Slices connect. Slices connect. But we don't know how. It is sight. It is sight. It wasn't. Wasn't. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Missing. 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 Data. Data. Calculation. Calculation. And then crucial information. Very. Very. Could be. Could be. Critical. Critical. Very. Very. Need not to know. To know. Until we get to concrete. Proof. Proof. This is why we need to alter the brain patterns. But not erase. Not erase. More like shut the door. Shut door. door. <laughs> I know you don't want to. Don't want to. But, but if they jump the gun, this information gets out. Gets out. out. Not only not are, are androids, 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 or even humans, 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 humans but there's a small sliver of information, of information about, about our people. Our people. people. I think that's I think the data I'm missing as well. As well. So, uh, uh, what, do you, what, do, what do you want, you want me, to me to do about that? If I do, I do. I do. I could possibly put them in a state, in a state so at least very a state, state where, where it won't be functioning. Right, right. And the three, three of us, I believe that, that, that you, that you, that you, that you, that you, that Or, or, if this is against your the world, then I would advise you, I would advise you the way, way. To make a deeper connection with that area, to have him understand that we cannot jump in the gun and tell no one until we figure out what's going on. When the name tagging appears, everything changes. 
Relationships, never been 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. We also need to figure out what's going on with you. 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 Back at the hospital, there was some disturbing information I could not pull. Laura, 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 Laura. Soon, soon, it may be time to tell Eden, 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 about our purpose. But not now, not now, not now, not now. Not now. It's a little mm. hard to understand. Lower the echo by a few notches. Okay. I can do that. There's a deeper purpose that you probably won't be able to understand. But we need to know what these people know about us and our people. Aside from slice, do you think that slice betrayed us? There's not enough information. Jumping to that conclusion could be devastating. Right, right. Slice knows a lot about our culture, our past history. I've even heard he had artifacts. They've let me take a look at a lot of them, too. There's something else that I must share. I am not 100% secure. My mind has been hacked before. Hence why I need Alora to make this connection complete. Though I can reconnect that connection, there is someone that may know more, but I owe a life debt to them, and it may be dangerous. The way I learned how to use my talents came from a mentor named Nadai Ortho. That's all I could say. This connection will not be secured within 15 seconds. So please, help us. Okay. Help them understand. Okay. But I think we can just trust them. Separate the bond. I step back, <laughs> and I break the bond. You're not still holding on. Are you eating? Good. We only knew Barry and Beast for a short time. There are decisions that need to be made. But what if we just explain to them how important it is? They will not take the explanation. They do not understand our ways. You are also changing, Eden. When we made our attempt to bond, I saw a lot of different stuff inside you. Unflicting, very conflicting natures, personas, and also you may be more tight-knight than you give credit to. We need to know more. Once we figure out all these loose ends, then we can come back to discuss what's really going on. Though the data might have information on Slice and this haven, doesn't mean that it's wrong. As we know, history dictates that humans weren't always the best, even to their own. Right. You are a very kind person, Eden, but there is something deeper. And you know a lot more than you put on. I have not delved past that black box, I respected your privacy, but we need answers. I suggest we speak to Spy, uh, Slice and possibly your caretaker to find out more. Also, okay. I'm afraid that you're a very, forgive me for saying high value, 
to more than one group. I don't have the details, but it's disturbing that the name that was on your papers was also in another hospital. What? I told you before, Eden. It's not a common name here. That's all I could life. And so that whole fiasco of um, ooh, the alarms popping off and you getting very upset with me, it was to protect you as well. Well, yeah, I think it was you. Then again, it just, I only saw the name. So I would suggest maybe you going over your paperwork and researching that completely and have questions ready. We need to prep Barry in peace. Peace will be a little bit harder to deal with than Barry. Right. But now, our decisions have to be made, and it can only be made by you, Eden. You've known Slice longer, and you seem to have some kind of human emotional bonds with other humans. But if we tell the truth, we need to tell the whole truth. And there's definitely more to it. I, I, they haven't told us the whole truth. At, at least, exactly. peace hasn't, you know? So why should we fully trust them without us taking our precautions first? Then we can come to an idea of possibly coming together. Do you agree? Yeah. Place at the very trusting. least. We yeah. need all of the information, or as much as that we can get. Absolutely. So, with that being said, what do we do about... And I'm lowering my voice, like, heavily. What do we do about peace? If, if you... If you want me to try and do something to bury it... There are two ways. Now, I am not gifted as you. We are all different by our cold makeup. But at the end of the day, you seem a lot gentler. Maybe you haven't even discovered all that you can do. But there is a way, from I heard from my mentor, that you could shut off certain areas of the brain. Memories, information leaks, and so on and so forth. I would say, maybe, Invade to see what he knows. If it's just a name, then I don't think we're in trouble. But if he's thinking more to it, and he goes and tells his coordinates or those that he gets hired from, slice his name, it could be trouble across the board. Can because once Slice even do figures out, well, we do know that Slice is capable of things right but my my question more so is uh, i don't even know if we can do anything to, to peace anything to you know i think you can leave peace to me i think i can handle him oh, excellent by my measures once we compile the data i can make a copy of this data stick and we need to go give it slice. But it down comes to who do we trust more? I don't know. I will leave that decision in your hands. My task is complete. I have fully <sighs> encrypted all that I could. And now you know the truth. Sorry to put so much on you. Very overbearing. Understood. I'm more yeah. concerned about our people. And I'm very concerned about you. And our relationship with Slice. Mm. We have options. Both or all are dangerous. I can connect with Nadai, but I would say that's the last 
thing we should do. And Alora, I am terribly sorry I kept that from you. It was under your for your protection. I understand. Maybe we can figure out a way to get rid of that debt. Later. Okay. Now, Laura, what do you think? Well, for now, we need to convince the others that we must seek out Slice. That is essentially the first step we must take. That is where we will get the information. Shall I make a copy of this data and give it to Eden? Okay. Let me see if it's, it should be possible. I've already pushed the data over to my rig. It's a lot of data. Um, it will take some time uh, to copy. All right. I will place this in a idle mode. Not being can be completed under protected bonds, though we can move around and talk to the others if you like. It's a lot to process for me right now. I am exhausted. Yeah. Oh, perhaps you are low on nutrients. I have a half-eaten flavor bar. It is bubblegum. Would you like some? Is this human? Yes. Never seen what kind of effects it would have on my body. I guess it's time for a test. Yes, Maybe after, it is. Maybe, but we kind of had like a super good plan that we need to do. You should oh. chew it. After and I swallow. It, I chew. already swallowed it. Swallow. It could, it, that is what you're supposed to do. But have not chewed. These instructions should be vital next time you decide to uh, ram it in my mouth. The effect is the same. But you're gonna be sick. That won't be. You'll <laughs> be fine. Bubblegum flavor is probably not something that you can really describe to anyone in general. Um. But I think any flavors from Earth are pretty extreme uh, contrasts for Titanites. Mm. Texture is not sitting well. I, I'm going to use the locker. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> mm. He will be fine. Don't worry. I've put Stranger Things in his mouth before. Like what? Oh, do you really want to know? Uh huh. I have a very long list. Well, what's the weirdest on your list? Oh, there's this one creature on Titan called a Basadi, and it has ten tentacles. <gasps> ten? Mm hmm. Was it alive? Oh, very. Does it, it doesn't have like hooks on the tentacles or anything like that, right? Oh, no, not at all. It has these, mm, what would you call them? They're like fingers. It is used as a uh, therapeutic device, one might say. Tentacles as fingers? I will have to show you next time we go Finger to Titan. Tentacles? I will show you. Tintingers? Yes, we will call it that. Okay. Um. Barry, you were making a phone call. Yes, I was. I was going to be calling, uh, calling up Dakota Bob, telling him that, uh, yeah, this whole damn thing got a lot more complicated and is, uh, seemingly involved with, uh, Haven of some kind. It's 
so I ring him up. You start to reach out to Dakota Bob's contact information. It's been probably five to six hours since you last spoke to him. Yeah, something like that. Any updates? What's going on, Barry? Hey, yeah, we got some updates here. Uh, yeah. Did, did you know that there's like a direct tie to this whole thing with whatever the hell Haven is? Yeah, some sort of cult thing. Uh, Barry, how did you hear that name? <laughs> yeah, through some of the leads we had to follow with uh, barely any information. It seems that uh, this uh, John Afar is very directly related to Haven. And the little bits we found here and there uh, almost got code uh, wiped. Not code, uh, damn it, uh, peace. I worked with code on it. There was some bad, bad, bad data going around out there. Okay, uh, listen, Barry, I didn't know anything about any any involvement in Haven with Echo. Okay. I had a feeling, what, what, and that's why I called what you. What do you mean, what happened to peace? Peace was inspecting some sort of data stick at the location of the uh, murder. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it kind of tried to overwrite and take him over. And he thankfully was able to stop it. It has infected him slightly, and thankfully it does not seem harmful. Very hang on, lot hang, of... hang on, hang on. One second. Uh, yeah. Damn it, where the hell was it? Uh... Where the hell did I put it? I don't know where you put it. I'm talking to myself, Barry. Yeah, I know. It was kind of funny to respond to you talking to yourself. Shut up, Barry. Hey, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh... All right. Uh... Listen, I had to put an encryption on this channel, Barry. You gotta keep your Shit. communications a little bit more secure. You understand? Well, now I do. I didn't realize it was that much of a problem. Shit. Listen, Barry, even with the encryption, I'm still not sure if we should be talking about this over the communicator. Okay? All right. Um, listen, I don't know a lot about this group of people. Okay? But from what I understand, it's a bunch of... Um, well, you know how um, the Human First Movement has their, uh, their have their political leanings and their, um, well, they're a group of assholes, we all know that, but, uh, right. well, Haven is not, uh, they're, uh, they're not like they're polar opposite or anything, but they, uh, well, they, they're sort of uh, activists, very aggressive activists, you could say, from what I understand. A activists for, for what? Well, for androids. John Afar, we figured out two words from her from the video that we saw. Okay. Android. Titanite. Is Haven involved with them as well? I don't know anything about that, but I... And listen, well, I don't know much about this group either. Just to clarify, right. only, I've only heard a few mumblings, okay? Uh, it's very secretive and, you know, it's kind of... Uh, I think there's some behind-the-scenes kind of clashing that's going on. They might be involved with the... Uh, with various gangs as well. This is serious business, Barry. Yeah, this ain't no simple favor anymore. 
Bob? I don't know how Echo's involved with any of this. What, what exactly did you find? We found the data stick. Code's working on getting all the info off it as best he can. Uh, let me think here. He got, uh, it was this Echo, uh, like Shannon McCarr. Randall was the husband, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me think. I mean, he was murdered. John Afar stood there. What did you have it? to do with Haven? I mean, where where did you get? When Pace put the uh, the, the the stick in him, he he got a number what of stick? things. What what the stick? data stick? He found a data stick Just at the location of the murder. He was there. Yeah. Where the hell did he find it? I don't know it? where he's. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think he told me. He just said he found it and put it in him, which was stupid as hell. I don't he know why he did that. He just plugged in the data stick he found on the ground. I know. I know. I've already chastised him for that because I don't know. There's got to be an Android thinking. equivalent to STDs. Uh, yeah, he got it. And and now after he did that, he saw a symbol in the he saw a symbol in the alley uh, that. Uh, uh, we were looking into that was next to the murder place where he had determined was the very likely exit point of John Afar, and that symbol was talking about Haven. And he couldn't see it before, but it translated into binary, he said, after the... It gave him, like, an AR uh, vision. What the hell? Yeah, exactly. Um, what was the other damn thing? Um, oh, fuck. Uh, 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 there are more cameras in there, uh, outside of the ones in the official police report. Okay. We're uh, trying to hack into those next. Uh, all right. Uh, um, okay. All right. But, yeah, Haven's involved somehow. I, I, Listen, I Aaron, don't know how. I don't know either. Let me tell you, it's your best bet to stay away from anything to do with Haven. So, well, then we need to fucking abandon this job. You see the problem? You see why I called you? All right. Look. I owe Echo. Barry. I gotta do this for her. Something that she's involved with involved with you here is is involved obviously in this situation but uh <sighs> i need to get this done do what yeah. you can to stay far away from haven but please <sighs> just get this done i haven't gotten I any know. updates on your sister yeah. aside from aside from the fact i don't think she's on earth I, those are the easiest contacts for me to reach out to without any sort of delay or anything, and nobody's right. seen hiding their hair with gas. All right. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's good to know. I think I'd rather her not be here anyway. If there was a lucrative job, there's no way it was above board if it's on Earth. I, I will do what I can, but I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to avoid whatever the hell this Haven is if they're involved and or John Afar works with or for them. Well, that's her business. That's none of our business. But uh, if but... I have to get a bounty on her, it then it becomes my business. Okay. Well, we don't know what's going on with with with, with Echo yet. Okay. So just not Echo. I mean John Afar, our target. If our target is directly involved with Haven, that puts an, a goddamn target on my back. Right. Just... I'll do it, but I, I, I need you to help. I need you to do something for us. Uh, work on the back end, anything. <sighs> it's your favor we're helping out with, and I don't mean to pull that. I just mean you're putting the target on my back, not yours. Please, make... I will do it. A sway roll for me. Absolutely. Or actually, 
Maybe Would be a consort. I think, I think consort. Sway. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get him to do things he does not want to do in favor for me. Well, you're not really. Well, you're persuading. Yeah, sure. You can sway. Okay. Um. Uh, position effect. Hmm. This is gonna be risky. Yeah. I think the effect will be great. Okay. All right. One die. Let's go. I'm going to say you've got one bonus as well. Okay. I'll roll, roll a bonus it just for in my case. six. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going <laughs> to. All right. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on, Dakota Bob. This is bad, and you know it. Fine. Fine. You know, Barry, every time we have a conversation, my supply of antacids decreases more than I expect. And you know, you keep calling me back. Yeah, I suppose it's my fault. That's ball. Let's share the blame. We'll share the blame here. All right. Look, I'll, uh, I'm already putting the feelers out to get in touch with your sister. Uh, let's see, what can I do here? All right, well, I'm gonna have to pull some people off missions for me. Uh, Tell you what. Finding Jennifer, that is the crux of the problem here for you. Uh, I've already checked a few leads my way when this first got dropped in my lap. Just some basic stuff, but, uh... Well... She's on Earth. I know that much. Yeah. Okay. I say big. Here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I got... close but I didn't find her. I can give you that information, and then you can run with it. But that's all I've got, Barry. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. I can give you some okay. contacts that I made when I was starting to do the research, but it just got too convoluted and it got too crazy and it just was too much time. Yeah, so you'll have to take it from there. That's all I've got. Anything, anything helps, I'll take it, thank all you. Right. Uh, do you, do you have any, any advice or just a warning? I don't know. If, if this ends up being with this haven and we are just deciding to dive into a pool of shit, I did, any, anything that can help, it can be later when you hear some more stuff, but I don't want to bear this. I'm going to tell you what? something right now. I'm not looking in a haven any further. No, don't. No, I'm not asking you to look into them. Just if we get if we get involved, eventually, if if I get captured and all that, they're eventually going to learn who I got this job from. If they're as terrifying they as better you say, not. I'm not going to do anything. I ain't. I don't fuck. I don't burn bridges. Hurry up! I'm just saying. Get to the point because the encryption's running out. Yeah, just keep yourself safe, and if you can find a good way to keep yourself safe, maybe share it. That's what I'm saying. Right, but if you want advice on Haven, we can't avoid them anymore. Not with this job. If you want, I'll do what I can to mitigate risk. If you want advice on Haven, yeah. Then, from my experience, you got. Two options, Barry. 
And it's the same thing with any bounty hunter or anyone else that's dangerous. You got two choices. You run, or you make sure you're strong enough so that they can't fuck with you. Well, why do you think so many of the bounties don't come in one piece? But I, I hear what you're saying, and I, I'll take it to heart. That's good. I didn't become a member of the Hundred Club just by making stupid choices, Barry. That's why I look up to you. <sighs> All right, taking the call. Coordinates, three possible yeah. locations that I've got. Beautiful. All right. Uh, there's a place on Earth that used to be called Paris. Uh, All right. Yeah. There's this uh, weird satellite thing they've got going on there. Um, and uh, let me see here. Have this data pad. It's probably close by to you. Mm. Yeah. Uh, U.S. Canadian territories? Yeah, that's nearby. Um, yeah, right near the, uh, right near the coast there. Uh, east or west coast, let me see. Oh, uh, that'd be the east coast. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, the last location, ooh, oh, that's not fun, Barry. Um, yeah, last location, this is probably, this is why I gave it up. Uh, last location's down in the, uh, the hellhole of, uh, well, the equator area. Uh, you're gonna wanna bring some protective gear if you go there, let me tell you. Solar flare, uh, burning away the ozone. It's a little warm there, Barry. Yeah. Oh, God, I want to say... Was that... I was getting, like, 50C, I think, last I checked, and that was winter. You're lucky if it's 50 right now, Barry. Uh, God damn it. Bring your sunscreen. <sighs> yeah, yeah, SPF 2000. Yeah. I think it's, uh... Yeah, it's that, uh... Yeah, it's the uh, northern South American area over there. I forget what they used to call it. Um, I, I was always terrible at geography. It's, it's, I'll give you the coordinates. Perfect. All right. Anyway, uh, I got a few contacts I'll send your way. And uh, you can check and see if they remember anything. This is a year ago now. But uh, you're looking for John Farr? That's all I've got. <sighs> Perfect. All right. Thank you, Dakota Bob. I will. I'll get back to it. That does help. Sure thing. And Stay safe. Uh, will do. If I hear anything about Cass, I'll send it your way. Thank you. Good luck. You'll need it. Yeah. Ah, fuck me. All right. Hi, uh, hi everyone. We got, we got more info. I was able to get us a few more leads and locations. <sighs> Not great, but we'll do what we can. So, uh, I don't meet the mess in five. That seems like a good idea. All right, see you there. group meets back up. Hi. Alright. 
So thanks for uh, thanks for coming to this little meeting. <sighs> Are you? Don't what, worry. What's, what's wrong with him? He is medically sound. <sighs> How many times medically do I have to swallow it and then rechew it and swallow it again? It what gets point? easier. Did you have him eat human food? <laughs> No, don't. I would, don't just. I, I would imagine it's the bubble gum, sir. Oh, well, that's like one of the worst flavors. It hasn't I tasted like real bubble gum after... for at least a couple of decades. Oh. Well, when you regurgitate it a few times, it starts to taste extra spicy. Oh, oh no, that's stomach acid. Do you have stomach acid? <laughs> maybe, then maybe don't don't reeat that. Just throw it up, and you'll feel better. But that's just throw it up. I, gra I grab it energy. out of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I grab it out of his open hand and I <sighs> take it to a trash receptacle and I, I throw it in there. Oh, the hell is vomit so solid? <sighs> I do like know, an sir. Is that like an owl fang? So what that. is the meeting for? Oh, yeah, sorry. I called my contact, the one who got us this job, Dakota Bob. Um... <laughs> Because uh, this this job has gotten a lot, a lot more complicated, as uh, pieces found out, uh, with its ties to this uh, kind of whatever the hell it is called Haven, uh, this cult thing. Um, every time that word comes up to someone who roughly knows what it is, they go, "Oh God, do not touch that or work with it in any way, shape, or form. They're real bad." Oh. That's basically what Dakota Bob did. And he said, stay away from him. To my response, we found out that John Afar is directly tied to uh, Haven. Right? We all knew that. Oh, Dakota yes. Bob did not. Perhaps we How? need to be careful with what we tell Dakota That's Bob. what I mean. Well, mm. but the Bob, yeah. Bob's on the, on the level. Uh, uh, Bob's trustworthy. Sorry, that he's not. I mean, he probably is level. Mm -hmm. I think he, he's pretty particular about that sort of thing. That's unrelated. He basically he gave us more leads because I was able to persuade him to the fact that this is no longer a nice, easy favor bounty. This leads is for a, what, sir? Uh, he gave us three last known potential locations of contacts that might have information on John Afar across earth he's also pretty confident still on earth so we are not leaving it alone then and not if i want to get information on cass i so have an is... idea well, why don't amazing. we start with a lead that we already have someone that we already have a relationship with someone that we might be able to trust Someone who might not immediately pull out a gun and try to shoot us. And who is uh, uh, well, that be? Well, I, I believe that she is referring to Slice. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, right. But um, is that would, a, that seems bad? <laughs> I would uh, interject that we. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you haven't told me where the leads are yet, have you? Never mind then. Forget what I said. I'll wait till you tell me where there's a lead, yeah. and then I'll say, "Go." We're already on Earth, so let's, let's yeah. do the Earth, Earth stuff first. Uh, I mean, but if if Slice is tied to Haven in any way, and we're supposed to stay away from Haven, then that would be the worst idea in this situation. Assumptions are dangerous, Harry. They are. You're right. Like an assumption that we can trust Slice. An assumption who's tied to Haven contact as well. I say that we gather enough information and let Not each side a... that finds trust in each one to well sort out the information and come together in the end. Us I mean, asking that's... Slice will be a good idea versus you asking him, and on top of that, you and Dakota Bob's relationship we have nothing to do with. Agree? No, no, you do have something to do with that because that's the bounty we all decided to take together. You that would mean that. Barry. I mean, as I, in I will do. not be able to ask to go to Bob myself of information, though he does not know me. 
trust links will not be established that way. The trust is within you, Gary. Right. And I could say the same thing about slicing you. That's what I right? just said. Right. So, so more I'm saying, we have three new contacts here with us right now on Earth. Yes. The contacts so, are on Earth. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there, there's three locations across uh, across Earth. I got and the coordinates. You said that John of Fire is not... Uh... Or is still on Earth more than Yeah, that's think? what that's what Dakota Bob is pretty dang confident oh. about. Okay. Okay, very human, you have convinced me. I mean, this is just I... information gathering. That's the whole point of it. Because if this is directly tied with some horrid organization that will just end up trying to kill us the moment we do something, I, I would not necessarily want to deal with that. I'm not putting myself or all y'all at risk because... Dakota Bob is like, I need a favor. Judging by the data disc a favor. and yeah. Dakota Bob's demeanor when, as you described him, and when I spoke to my former partner, Captain Truman, this organization is something that is something to be feared and avoided. So the more we can do, uh, focus our efforts on finding your sister rather than finding out anything about uh, Haven, the better. Yeah, I, I can agree. Um, which just means doing this job nice and simple, which is sticking to the fact that John Afar murdered and that's it. Just, we're getting you as a bounty for murder and not mentioning Haven at all. Because if we do, all of a sudden now, we are going in for that rather than, you, you see, it's kind of, we could still potentially do the job without incriminating ourselves with them. Mm -hmm. Understood. Notated. Also, Barry, here comes yeah. the idea of the bigger mission here is yeah. Sister. Right. Barry. Oh, you're. Oh, that was it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thought you were going somewhere. With that. I assume that you did not put them into the ship's computer so they're easily accessible. Oh no, I do not. We have just the program them into the navigation. I assume you wrote them down. Yes, that's, sir. Permanent. Yeah, it's Please. primitive, but it also means that they're right here right now. I can put them in the computer, but I didn't want to yet on a fact that, that that this mission just got a whole hell of a lot more complicated and I wanted to talk to y'all about it before potentially putting traceable information in Molly. Eh? I sometimes use my brain, all right? Or this being traceable information. <laughs> Very well, sir. Where where are the locations? Oh, uh, here, in... I can put them in the computer. I just didn't want to do it immediately. All right. <laughs> just show me the. Can you show yeah, me the piece of paper? Yeah, uh, it's for here. It are. It's uh, form. It's a place called. It's it's formerly called Paris. Uh, I I, I want to say that they had like a giant stick of bread as like a tower or something. I think I heard Should about not have that. Said that. Now we must go. Hmm. You see, we right. come to the Laura. Um, well, I said pass. I don't know if it's true. Uh, there is, uh, near the Yes, it was called the uh, Eiffel Tower, sir. It was lost in the cataclysm. Was it a piece of bread? Was it a giant, like, piece of bread? It was not, sir. Oh, all right. Well, I heard that wrong. Uh, let's see. We also, uh, uh east coast of the U.S. Canadian territories. Uh, it's got a specific location. And then the one that's gonna suck, uh, uh not be good, be very unpleasant. <sighs> God, it's on the yes. goddamn equator. According to your video, sucking was pleasant. Yeah, not in this context. Um, it, no, it, it's it's on the equator, and that that's on on a on a good day gets to like fifty C. <laughs> so we're gonna need to bring some uh, environed suits. Otherwise, we're gonna have a bad time if it's a bad day there. Well, Edra and I will have to wear our suits regardless of where we go. Um. Hmm. Yeah, you'll be in a better position than the rest of us probably then. 
I, I, there is a slight problem. Oh? Yes, I had to dismantle mine to be able to extract data. Oh. It will take some time to repair. <sighs> All right. Well, we could. Well, bef- yeah, we'll need to get that repaired before we uh, we head to that location. At least we could save it for last, since it's the worst. And maybe, just maybe, once for the first time in my life, it won't be the worst place that has the information we need. Hopefully. Unfortunately, I'm very doubtful of this, but I'm really hoping. Hopefully, it would be in, in Canada, which is the closest location. Yep. Boy, it would be great. That would be that would just be peachy keen. Is there... Speaking of data, code. Yeah. I would like to go over the data you recovered at some point in the near future, if that would be agreeable to you. Eventually, when decryption is fully complete. Absolutely. Very well. Well, Barry. Yeah. Will you hand me oh, the yeah, piece yeah. of paper that there you have go. chosen to write upon? Yeah, primitive. yeah. Thank it's primitive. Yeah, it's primitive and it works, okay? That doesn't mean it's bad. What do you do when What's you this, lose said paper? The same could be said about you, sir. <laughs> primitive. What? That that may be that maybe was a little little much there, peace. Don't hurtful. worry, Barry. I like your paper. Uh, th- thank you, thank you. I I, tr- I start here and then I get it into the system. Okay, code. All right. Just it's not- it. It's just- I will pass all information via paper to you, so you remember it, retain it. And actually, I like wouldn't be. I probably wouldn't. I would probably wouldn't be upset about that. Actually, that's that's not too bad. Thank you. Do we have any further business in the place we are located now? Uh, a- anyone? Well, oh yeah. Uh, if possible, Code, mm-hmm. are you able to uh, get into those other cameras in the bistro? Uh, the other uh, ones that had the other angles. Bodega. <laughs> Very different. Shipping do you think? Do you think that? Do you think that, you think that, that Barry knows the difference between those two? <laughs> If that was on purpose, that was great, dude. It, it, you sold it, and you, I bought it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> um, I I like, did he really did. mean that? He doesn't know that You'll that never know. <laughs> <laughs> the bodega, whatever it's called. It, it, the there's bodega. there's cameras in there. Yeah, you're able yeah. to you able to think you can get into there remotely and uh, get other angles. Can Barry get into a tight? Snakeskin pair of shoes. I look down at my boots. Yeah, yeah. Then I you can. have your answer. Oh, good. All right. I wasn't sure if that was a trick question. Human means of communication. I'm evolving. Yeah. All right. Well, that's what we'll do next, and then after that, uh, we can get to uh, go to this uh, Tirana or something, whatever, wherever that is. Mm-hmm. I think I. Yeah. Do you think they have bread there in Canada? I mean, most places have some sort of bread. It's kind of like a human staple. Uh, it's kind of been around for like millennia. Uh, now, is it is it made out of whatever original ingredient they use? Now, probably not. It's probably more synthetic than, than real, but still, it's bread. I would like to eat the bread. Yeah, but Let us go would. to Canada. But All first, right. I must see if peace is indoctrinated. Shall I scan now? Oh, we already run his di- diagnostics. Primitively run his diagnostics. No, I, we him. no, we did not run primitively. We used diagnostic tools. We ran uh, the diagnostic coding. Uh, I I compared it specifically to previous diagnostics to make sure that uh, there were no any missing pieces that he as he was running them, and uh, we did there. find. Very red from a piece of paper. Very yeah. interesting. Yes. To be, yeah, functional. To be fair, hmm. Code may find things that you did not. I'd be willing to do it. That's fine. I just, I'm just getting a lot of attacks here as being primitive, as the pilot of this beautiful ship that brings everybody everywhere. Hmm. 
not feeling real appreciated. Well, it's not primitive. It's more so, uh, think about it like um, combs, right? Some combs are better for hair than others, and some have more finer pieces to them that catch things that maybe, you know, the knot you couldn't really get Remember, Remember that I do understand idioms. What is a comb? Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying a more fine-toothed comb for your hair, he might be able to catch the things that you couldn't. I didn't disagree that he skilled. should check. I didn't disagree. Mm -hmm. You're just making it worse. No, well, that's his forte. That's not yours. Yours is piloting and doing all that cool, like... And, and taking a club and hitting my head with it and then running around and screaming nonsense. Yeah, I get it. Primitive. Okay. No, oh, I didn't say hair. you were primitive. <sighs> yeah, my you diagnostic said it, can wait until after okay. code checks those cameras and we get the footage that we can off of them and then we can do the diagnostic cool. okay I would like to know more about club on head i don't think you're primitive please demonstrate I think, I think what we're gonna need here then is we're going to need to make our role to determine how things are going to start for you as oh you figure out where in the world is John Afar. Let's see here. Oh, good. Hopefully, you're not far. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that, that hurts. Eden, you are so funny. So, thank you. Which avenue will you be taking? The assault, deception, infiltration, mystic, social, or transport route? This is on page 148 of the book. Thank you. You know what I'm going to say? <laughs> Assault. I'm sticking myself in quiet places. <laughs> Same. You said 148, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of pages. Assault, deception, infiltration, mystic, social, or transport. We're going to kind of speed through the investigation part of this. And depending how well the role goes, it will alter where Jennifer is. <laughs> yeah. Get a one. Yeah, she's on the equator. Get fucked, Barry. <laughs> uh, definitely not transport. We're not bringing people through danger necessarily. We're trying to extract somebody, a bounty. <sighs> a sp uh, fuck. A Probably small part. Infiltration? Yeah, infiltration <laughs> or assault. The reason I think that is exactly re <laughs> like Dakota Bob being like run or be, f be stronger than them. He said that in, rela in relation to Haven. Well, this is in relation to Haven, unfortunately. Uh, Barry <laughs> <take> it, <laughs> At least so Barry thinks. Uh, <laughs> we're not, we're not great at being unseen as has been proven <laughs> time <laughs> and time. Yeah, speak I, yourself, I'm speaking for Barry. myself and definitely speaking for you, Code Hospital. That's all I, I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a tight night in a gown running through a, a coded hospital. Yeah, no one would notice that. <laughs> uh, so Barry, deception maybe. Barry's voting for assault. Assault or deception is probably uh, assault or social. Actually, is probably where Barry would go. Okay. Social because we're fight. We're working with a lot of contacts, get a lot mm -hmm. of information, and that would be negotiating, bargaining, or persuading with our three separate contacts. Oh. I'd vote social. I'd vote social. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okie doke. It doesn't matter where I vote. I'll say social. All right. <laughs> 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 okay. So He's just like, man, I want to sneak. <laughs> I want right. to sneak around and, and get code reds in hospitals. <laughs> so who wants to make the engagement roll? <sighs> what is that coming from? That uh, is fortune. So, fortune, yeah. So the engagement roll is a fortune roll, and you start uh, with a one die for sheer luck, and then uh, any other major advantage you have gets you another bonus die. 
disadvantages will lose you a die. I'll roll. Yeah. You'll roll for us? Okay. Awesome. Let's Major do it. advantages. I think we have at least advantage. one. Three locations of contacts. Absolutely. I, I say two also, dice so far. Yeah. I also possess on my person a fine med kit and recognizable medic garb, so that could make for a good um, persuasion of why we're here. If that will, if we get stopped by anybody, I look like a legitimate doctor. Um, You're a titan that help? has to wear a specialized armor to get around. I mean. <laughs> Well, we um, also have Ease as well, who is quite skilled with negotiation and I think would be a very valuable asset to this mission. I agree. Going the oh, social route with Ease is a good plan. Three dice. Okay. Uh, crit it. Let's crit it. Now, yeah, let's go. Let's crit it. Yeah. here's the problem. If we're going to go yeah, down that route. I'm going to say because yeah. you have very... <gasps> very obvious titanites with you. I'm going to take away a die for a major disadvantage. Would, what have been dressed would that be if we were going the deception route, not the persuasion route? Ooh. No, it's a social route. You're taking the social okay. route. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we also do have some titanites who are able to manipulate people using the way. Or kill. That would be, <laughs> so you can go that way. That's the mystic route. Yeah. Yeah. I think having two dice is good. Two, two, dice. two dice. Two dice yeah. and a fortune roll. Double six. Come on. Yeah. Come on. No whammy. Hey, okay. okay. Five and a four. Excellent. <sighs> okay. That means That's not too bad. That you're in a risky position when the action starts. And we'll find out what that means next week. Because it's already time. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it went wow. oh, so fast. So, so fast today. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. Much appreciated. Let me turn off my communicator. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. Um, as always, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you're following all these wonderful people. Head on over to tablestory.tv slash 100 club with no spaces. Make sure you're following Table Story, Table Story on Twitch, YouTube, and at a Table Story on Twitter. Come hang out on our Discord, which is tablestory.tv slash Discord. And if you want to check out our Patreon to help us in a monetary way, you can check that out at tablestory.tv slash pledge. Um, if you have a Prime Gaming sub that you haven't used yet, uh, consider giving it to one of these wonderful people. Go get yourself some emotes, support them, um, and uh, or just sub to them. Just go give them some sub love. Go sub to them. Hey, why just not? Throw all your money at them. Um, ah. And uh, <laughs> um, let's uh, go around the room. We've got some end of session stuff to do and some shout outs and things. Why don't we start off today with Zeke? Yo, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to my castmates for being a part of this wonderful thing that we have every Monday. My name is Ezekiel the Third. You can have, uh, find me at or slash Ezekiel underscore III on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, or Ezekiel the Third, all spelled out on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I broadcast mostly every day at 10 a.m. Pacific. And uh, tomorrow we are finishing up Tales of the Neon Sea, which was a 100 month or 100 month sub appreciation stream. And I liked it so much that I decided we finish it up. Should be should be uh, able to get to the conclusion tomorrow. Um, yeah, and that's uh, all I got. Thanks for watching. And so let's do the end of the day stuff. Okie dokie. End of the day stuff. Uh, a lot of rolls today. No rolls. Yeah, no desperate rolls today. Uh, did I address a tough challenge with deception or influence? Uh, flashbacks don't count, right? Uh, I don't think that was. I don't, I don't think it falls underneath that category, but I think it does for the next okay. one. Okay. Um, let's see. Did I influence any of you guys today or deceive you? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I think, think so. so. Yeah. All right. Uh, did I express my beliefs, drives, and heritage? Uh, yes, absolutely. 
Um, I'm wondering if that whole thing just counts as uh, one point. I'm gonna give you two. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, because I I had the idea like before we started the show today, and I was just like, you know, I, I was trying to imagine how peace would be affected by all this stuff, and also peace also has this this trauma of recklessness. Mm -hmm. um, which I was trying to indicate through the, um, through the diagnostic, uh, situation. Right, yeah. Um, so, uh, I think that that scene was awesome and you did great. Uh, let's, let's do two for that. Okie dokie. Uh, struggle with issues, uh, from your vice or traumas during the session. Um, it was, br it was brought up, uh, that, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't personally struggle with it. Okay. I don't think it was, yeah, part okay. of part of the description or part of the, the stuff that other people were talking about me behind my back. But yeah, okay. so two, I'll yep. take it. All right. Go. Look at that. Uh, all right, Dan. Hey, I'm Domestic Dan, Lifestyle Variety Broadcast. Do stuff like this, horror games, tabletop RPGs, all that fun. I try to do everything and all of nothing. So uh, that's me. Find me Domestic Dan everywhere. Um, I made butter chicken pizza yesterday and it was great. I do oh. stuff like that. Wow. So I have a lot of little personal pizzas that Stella can't have. Because um, <laughs> she'll make noises like that. <laughs> I'll keep making them until you feed me pizza. All right, well. <laughs> and then she will make oh. them after you feed her the yeah, pizza. Yeah, I was going to yes. say, I'm not going to change anything. <laughs> nope. Uh, in terms of end of session, uh, no desperate actions rolled. Um, tough downs with speed or flare. I don't really think so. Um, I don't think convincing Dakota to give us information was really flare. So... Um, uh, beliefs, drives, backgrounds, or heritage. <sighs> I uh, don't really know on that one. Probably not. Maybe a little bit with Dakota, uh, with Dakota Bob, only on just like our background together and trusting each other. But that's a stretch. If I'm if I'm being honest. Um, no, I'll give you one for the Dakota Bob situation, mostly because I feel bad because it's like. A lot of times when you guys are doing these like role play heavy sessions, it's like really low XP, and then I just feel horrible that you like, don't get any XP. So we'll, well give you a pity, a pity XP. You'll get a pity. I'll take one. a pity XP. Sure. We uh, stand pity XP. We love those. <laughs> and no, no struggle with vice or trauma. Okay. Um, there was there was no struggles there. Uh, moving on to Molly. Uh, executing successful extraction or capture bounty. Nope. Uh, contend with challenges above our current station. I might argue yes, because we're getting tied into more and more with Haven. And not it's been... this session. Okay, not this session, but, soon. but probably soon. Uh, <laughs> uh, bolster your crew's reputation or develop a new one. That's on your decision, Whack. Okay, nope. Uh, express the girl goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. Uh, I might say yes, not for Peace or myself, but the, for our Titan Knight. crew members, as they were discussing a lot of that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, outside our Could knowledge. For that. Okay, and that will level up Molly, so. <gasps> we'll advance Molly later. And that's me. Thank you so much, Wacken friends. Thank you, buddy. Frank, who has, <laughs> who has returned from San Diego, immediately jumped on the call. <laughs> You're be, so cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> be on the show today. Thank I you, buddy. When I say I struggled to find a, a flight that was like early enough to make this show, there was non-existent. This is the only one that was the earliest. But anyway, hi, I'm Tech or Frank. I uh, just got back from TwitchCon. It was awesome. It was, all, it was a lot. I am. I don't know how I'm functioning right now, but I, I slept a lot on the plane, I think. Um, don't have COVID yet. <laughs> got to wait three more days to make sure. So that's good. I uh, love the show, man. That's why that's why I bust my ass to get back here. Um, other than that, uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash technique. Don't you know E just a Q. Playing a lot of a lot of stuff. Um very getting getting very much into the competitive scene lately. Um at least gonna have one big competitive game. It's either gonna be Gundam Overwatch 2 
other than that um experimenting right now and it's a good time to experiment october november is huge with games like just pile it on and i'm um, just gonna have a lot of fun with that and i'm trying to make some reconnections with friends and do some things on the side because i really miss playing stuff with friends whether it's streaming or not streaming um yeah all right let's get into the end stuff right here oh i play code by the way of course you know that um <laughs> Whew, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Didn't do any rolls today. Um, you addressed a tough challenge with a technical skill. I'm gonna say no on that one because we already did the tough stuff before. We were kind of just kind of ciphering things and dealing with his obsession of trying to make connections constantly. Um, you express your beliefs, drives, heritage. I think showing, like finally showing the triple link um, and how uh, code how do I put this? Code is not adolescent, but his his mind is he's, he's always like in wonderment. But uh, I think he kind of like grew up, so to speak, when he found out that, you know, it could be a connection with his people and that that would just like completely turn him. So um, his drive to have Alora come in and balance the link between Eden and himself, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and it was uh, was able to use a way in a, the way in a different way that the audience never seen before. So I would say sure, but if not, that's cool too. Um, I level up a lot, so I don't- I'm gonna give you two. No, I don't want to. Oh, wow. Holy shoot, okay. Thank you. Oops, I put three. <laughs> okay, I put four. How do you maybe that's why you're leveling up so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just click no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I took two away, I took two know, away. I feel right. like I deserve another point. <laughs> yeah. No, I fuck it. I'm gonna use the way on him real quick. All right. Um, <laughs> struggle with issues with your vice and trauma. Yes, but not to the extent where I should get an experience. Um, anytime code does something uh, technical or overthink thing, I mean, he's obsessed with it and I don't want to overdo it. I just do slight. But if it's like a big obsession, then, then I say maybe deserve it, but I don't think it's time around. Okay. Thank you so much. Stella. Yeah. I'm Stella Luna, Stella Luna TV on social media. You can find all my information on Twitter. That's the one that I use the most. I'm a TTRPG producer and performer. I like to dress up as characters and make a bunch of really horny jokes. That's my brand. Um, but <laughs> she, she said that. She said, horny. Yeah. Remember how innocent she was towards us all on the first She's like, episode? Now. <laughs> you, you remember that? Yeah, you know, Okay, it's like a, it's, everyone knows, you gotta walk into a room and vibe check everyone. You're like, okay, you're horny, you're horny, you're horny, you're horny. All right, great, I fit here, this is fine. Descent. Chat is super horny. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you so much for another wonderful episode. Uh, I had a lot of fun. This was a very interesting like pace and it was, oh God. I just gotta give like a gold star to Zeke and that, that scene, that was mm -hmm. amazing. So I was just I like, it this the entire time i was just like what's gonna happen <laughs> and uh i want to give a shout out to whack for the super awesome sound effects too it was like chilling it was so awesome um okay uh my character stuff uh you addressed a tough challenge with insight or compassion i kind of think a little bit because uh i was quite gentle with eden mm -hmm. and trying to facilitate the three-way <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I love it so fucking much. Half of Welcome the show back. behind the scenes, by anymore. the way, half of the show behind the scenes is me face palming. By the way, chat, like, yeah. half. it's I'm see, I'm, you see I'm gonna have like it? dents in my skull. You see from... this post it? I have to put it on wax face on because my monitor. The way that he's he's been good about like diving off screen though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's when you know that it's a good one, and then yeah. you're like, oh. yep. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> uh, you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. I kind of not really. Um, I, I don't think so. Not this session. Uh, I think today Vertigo was more of like a support role than anything. Yeah, and but, struggled with. Uh, uh -huh. So I, I, so I'd say you get one for the first one, and I'm gonna disagree with you on the second one. I don't think you did as much as like Code did. Um, but I think all the tight knights had their had that group cohesion moment. So I'll say I'll give you one for mm -hmm. that one. Hell yeah, I'm not gonna say no to that. Okay. Uh struggled with issues from your vice or traumas during the session. I kind of alluded to it, but I didn't struggle at all. Other than shoving a 
flavor brick into Frank's mouth, but I enjoyed it so much that I regurgitated and ate it again. Yeah, no, there were consequences to us putting stuff in uh, pieces uh, underarm there. Oh, what? What did I miss? Hold on, I uh. You kind of, I think I got something in my ball eye. Pit. Let me just rub my eye real quick. <laughs> Wait, your eye is underneath the ball pit. She tried to install a fucking eye in my armpit while I was powered down. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch this again. Oh my God. Oh, and glued a flavor brick to your knee. Yep. <laughs> that was a weird one. I, I, I almost left it there because I I think that would have been like a logic loop. Just that a might pink, have like taken him years to figure out error, why that happened. Error. <laughs> it's like, why? Well, how? Uh, what purpose does this serve? <laughs> <laughs> Is it helpful? I have no idea. You don't see him for a hundred years and he comes back and he's like, I have the answers to everything. <laughs> the brick. I have pondered this knee brick for a hundred years. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so yeah, that'll leave me at two. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much, Stella. And last but not least, we've got Faye. Hello, I'm Faye Lynn. Oh, my voice like almost cracked there. Um, it's fine. I, I found it. Um, but anyhow, uh, I played Eden today. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch. Play a little bit of everything. Been doing a lot of uh, like uh, Conan Exiles RP recently. Um, but I do a little, a little bit of everything. Um, as for uh, me, you can catch me over on twitch.tv slash Lynn or on Twitter as Phelan. It's all the same on my social medias. Um, but as for end of session, let's take a look. We didn't roll anything today. Um, but you addressed a tough challenge with wisdom or the way. I wouldn't say so yet. Nope. Um, mm, you expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. I mean, uh, the way, unless we count like the whole scene with the Titanites, but I think that's more like character development than addressing a tough challenge. I don't know. I thought it was pretty tough when you were just sitting there pondering what you should do, but I don't know. That's just me. Uh, I would, I... I think that the you can break it up however you'd like, but I think um, I think between you and Code specifically, you you had a um, you had more involvement in that situation. So mm -hmm. I would say you get two XP uh, for that whole scene. So okay, I will say probably one from the first one, and one from the second one. Right. Okay. Um, there was also the a lot of nuance that yeah. like you're the one who's going to have to make the decision because this impacts you the most. Mm -hmm. Right. So. And I uh, I did have it so that Eden talked a lot about uh, how uh, she's friends with Sly, so this is really concerning. And Code also revealed a little bit about Eden, too, um, that she not inherently would know. So I'm not sure how, in terms of like XP, we want to do it, if we just want to leave it at two or not. I'm going to say two. Awesome. All right, that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Faye. I'm Mike Steven. I have been your GM of Doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. As always, Chad, thank you so much for being here. Much love, much love, and much appreciation. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much to my wonderful cast. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank you, Zeke. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Frank, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You killed it. And uh, Frank, extra special thanks for making your way back here and rushing and throwing on a, a, an outfit Insane. and getting <laughs> onto camera right after a long ass plane uh plane trip um that's uh, that's so awesome thank you so much dude. i love this show and i love this cast yeah Anytime. we love you too buddy love you too I'm so glad you made it um and uh hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for kingmakers that's at 4 p.m eastern uh wednesday we've got spellwind um and saturday we've got more leech um, and you might be hearing some more about this new show that I'll be running, um, Ashes of Ariador <sighs> soon. You might be hearing more oh, about that, that soon. Oh. So, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Bye-bye! <laughs>